We're going to be ready to go here in just a moment with our opening bout. You know, it has really been amazing. I think a lot of the wrestling fans have uh, realized the fact that uh, there have been a lot of matches canceled, as a matter of fact, because of the weather, and this storm really ripped through a big, wide uh, area. It covered uh, most of the southern and eastern United States. It started, uh, well, as a matter of fact, out of New Mexico. It covered most of Texas, most of Oklahoma, all virtually all of Arkansas, uh, most of Missouri, Tennessee, Kentucky, and uh, moving on up uh, the eastern seaboard. So it's a uh, it's, it's big winter storm. Uh, it's, you know, this is the second or third one of these things we've had, and... Uh, Everybody's hoping for a little break over most of the eastern United States. You know, ironic thing, out west, uh, in uh, places like Oregon and Washington and California, had a very warm winter, and that's uh, that's part of the problem. When you uh, when you have very warm weather on the west coast, it's terrible on the east, and that's what we've been stuck in in the eastern U.S. this year. Hey, can we reverse it? I think we've had our share. I'm ready. Part yeah. of the <laughs> around here for a fact. Okay, well, of course, it has affected some of the uh, wrestlers. If you didn't hear us earlier in there, we... We, uh, some of the guys that were originally scheduled to wrestle here today are not here, but here comes right now Eddie Hot Stuff Gilbert. He did, in fact, make it, and I see Jimmy Hart, of course, made it. He, uh, he has gotten through the snow and whatever, and right now we're ready for the introductions on the opening bow. It's going to be a match two out of three falls. Two out of three falls, 30 minutes the overall time limit. Introducing from Memphis, Tennessee at 235 pounds. On the right of your screen, David Haskins. Going against him from Lexington, Tennessee, 216 pounds with his manager, Jimmy Hart. Hot stuff, Eddie Gilbert. Two out of three fall match, 30 minute time limit. Jerry Calhoun, the referee. Okay, David uh, going in against the former international champion. Yeah, Eddie, I hear you two straight. It's a two out of three fall because of the uh, conditions and the fact that we don't have everybody here that we had planned on. We are going to go for two out of three fall matches in some cases. David Haskins has the size advantage on Eddie. He doesn't have the experience. And of course, Eddie, with that family background, is an unbelievable wrestler for the limited time he's been in professional wrestling days. Boy, he sure is. Of course, with his dad, uh, Tommy Gilbert, uh, the, the wrestling history in the Gilbert family is a, is a rich one indeed. Well, Eddie... Eddie uh, really kind of kind of toying with uh, with Haskins a bit there. He said he's going to give him a lesson in there free of charge. Uh, today. Uh -huh. Tell everybody that he's from the Jerry Lawler School of Wrestling. <laughs> Funny, Jimmy. Unfortunately, uh, the snow didn't keep Jimmy Hart out of the studio today. You know, it didn't slow him down a bit. Haskins uh, has not been wrestling all that long, but uh, as you mentioned, he has the size advantage. Well, he just got to deal with a second right hand there and knocked him off his feet as Eddie Gilbert is working on him. Haskins has looked good in several matches that, uh, that we have had here on Championship Wrestling. The opportunity today to go against Gilbert. Right now, not doing too well. No, that front face lock Gilbert has in there. Takes a shot to the midsection. David kind of getting with it now. A lot of time. When you're going against somebody that uh, has the reputation Gilbert does, uh, there's a little, I guess you'd call it stage fright in there because you choke up and you don't get off and running, but Haskins trying to fight his way back in there and Gilbert stops him cold. Mm. Dropped down with that knee right smack in the chest. He drilled him with that knee in there. Now Gilbert's saying, come on, get up, get up. Shot to the midsection, Haskins swinging back, and Gilbert goes right for the eyes, the referee on top of it. Haskins fired across the ring, and whoa, Eddie Gilbert had a running start, and he nailed him with the upper arm. Haskins hits the mat, Eddie hit the mat, too. He's taking his time getting up, and Haskins uh, has to take his time getting up. Boy, Gilbert really nailed him coming off those ropes there. Referee got to the two count, and Gilbert snapped him back with that rope after having his, uh, look at Hart. The, the epitome of cocking as Jimmy Hart with Ooh. his feet up on the side there, throws Haskins into the ropes and out on the floor. Yeah, you wish. Haskins down on the floor. Eddie Gilbert saying, there's Jerry Lawler. David, back to the ring apron, and he is in the ring. Ooh. 
back on the uh, turnbuckles, Eddie Gilbert. Oh, haymaker swing. Boy, he just took a wind up and unloaded on David Haskins. Grinding David's head right down into the mat. And the referee telling him to let go of the hair. Why didn't he try following the rules sometime? What we're trying you know? to do, baby, is you can see the mat cover is very, very dirty, so we're using this guy as a vacuum cleaner. Oh. See what I mean? Funny, you know, funny. Man, this is the biggest joke of my life. Yeah. Hey, man, what a rep this is, man. Uh, what, you think this guy played football for who? All right, Jimmy. Well, let's I didn't not... say all right, Jimmy, for who, Lance? Never mind. Forget oh. it. <laughs> you don't want to say Memphis State, do you? All right. <laughs> doing what Eddie Gilbert was doing. Haskins in. Eddie jumps out of the way and slams into the ring post in the turnbuckle over there. Haskins body slammed. Eddie Gilbert climbing a rope. Smash with the right hand off the middle rope. That's it. Well, it was four minutes, five seconds, and it was all Eddie Gilbert. Haskins with uh, visions of a victory here over, over Eddie did not get it, uh, at least not in the first fall, but it is a two out of three fall match. Yeah, this is a little different and it puts an entirely different atmosphere on it, the fact that it is a two out of three fall. Eddie uh, tournament looked like for a moment that he was going to be able to uh, get back up on top of Eddie, but uh, the situation he missed, and you can't afford to miss, when he drove into that corner and then, of course, Eddie came right up there off the uh, turnbuckles, and he drove down hard with him. His heart already has the victory sign up in the air. There's Gilbert flying down and smashes David Haskins. He got him into a one-two-three situation, and the victory in the first fall of action will go to Eddie Gilbert. We have more of it. We'll be back. Speaking of uh, Gilbert, he mentioned Lawler. We've got some interesting tape coming up with uh, Eddie Gilbert and Lawler in just a moment. Okay, we mentioned to you a moment ago we wanted to show a match that had uh, Eddie Gilbert and Jerry Lawler in a Southern heavyweight title match. Now, in this bout, uh, it was a Texas death match, and before you guys start spouting off, I want to show everybody exactly. Just take a look. Okay. Yeah, take a look. Let's take a look and see exactly what happened in this bout. This is at the end of it. Counting along. Is he going to get it? He's on his feet. Gilbert on his feet. Went to his tights. Nail Lawler. Kind of one, two. Lawler's down. I think he got him. Well, the ball is Gilbert got Lawler from behind. Lawler jumps and dumps. He's down. Referee starting the count. Lawler's not going to make it. Gilbert is the winner. Gilbert with the aid of Jimmy Hart in this Texas death match. Here comes the Macho Man, Eddie Gilbert with the Southern Heavyweight Belt. Lawler convulsing under the ring. the belt back. Gilbert nailed the 
Macho Man. With that belt, the referee grabbed the belt back from Gilbert. Gilbert grabbed it again and ran off with it. Right there. Uh, you hey, had him, had him on it. He's not here to even congratulate us, Eddie. He He's not even here. He couldn't make it down today. He couldn't make it down. I don't know how you can be proud of that. You ended up in there. Everybody saw you grab Lawler and put that ether to no, him. No, no. Let me tell you this, baby. You know what happened? He busted Lawler's nose. The blood was running profusely. So I pulled out my handkerchief and I put it around his nose to get the blood off his oh, nose. Oh, exactly Jimmy! You come up with the most outrageous lies, and there's nothing. And you're talking about busting his nose. You did it with a pair of brass knucks in uh, there. See, see, Lance, the thing that bothers you, that bothers Eddie Marlin, that bothers Randy Savage, Paul Morton, and these stupid people in Memphis, Tennessee, is the fact the truth hurts. The truth is. Eddie Gilbert is the greatest wrestler in this area today. The truth is, I beat Jerry Lawler. The truth is, I came on TV and I said I would dethrone Jerry the King Lawler, and I did. I backed it up. So what happens in the Texas Death Match? There's no rules. Anything goes. I got out here and oh, I explained yeah, it. I explained it, Lance. No rules. None whatsoever. Jerry Lawler stood right where I'm standing and said, Look, Gilbert, bring your arsenal down there because I may bring fire. Right. I may bring brass nuts. Right. I may pull a chain out. I may resort to being the old king. Right. So what happened? Eddie Gilbert resorted to being the new king. Whether you like it or yeah, not. Yeah, with Jimmy Hart in there hey, jumping up on baby, the ring. The rules say, Lance, what do they say? No time limit. No disqualification. Anything goes. It goes until one man cannot answer the bell at that 10 count. Woo! Jerry Lawler couldn't get his big rear end up off that map. Yeah, and that you, you guys take the chicken way while Lawler is out in the country uh, over in Japan oh, big deal. with Jimmy Valiant. You get a hold of yeah, Stanley back in Japan. Japan. I don't believe he is in Japan, baby. Yeah. I don't believe it. Let me tell you something right now, man. We call the AWA, am I right or wrong? And what did they say? The new champion is hot stuff Eddie Gilbert. And that's exactly what they said. You know what they said? Y'all are a bunch of country hicks down there, Eddie Marlin. Hey, them. People like you and people like old Grandpa Paul Morton have been trying to protect the king, been right, trying man. to keep the crown as for all these years so they tried to think Eddie Marlin went and panicked said oh oh let's reverse the decision no we can't do that let's hold the belt up right, baby. then Stanley Blackburn we gave him a call and he said what are these redneck hicks down there in Tennessee Eddie Gilbert is the new Southern Heavyweight Champion that's the fact Jack I've got You're the, the belt. Southern Heavyweight Champion okay you got the belt remember, you also used it to hit the macho man he won't be forgetting that either. oh but let me tell you something you know what's so important about this Lawler got on here what three or four weeks ago and he said baby if I don't get a world championship shot when in 1985 I will retire well baby how are you gonna get that shot when hot step Eddie Bill is the new Southern Heavyweight Champion baby yeah. And Lawler is out of the country. All right, you've got another fall in there. Dave, let's get ready for the second fall. All right, the uh, Southern Heavyweight Championship belt deposited here at the table for uh, safekeeping. This will be the second straight fall this night. Southern Heavyweight Champion. You won the first fall, no doubt about it, as uh, David Haskins steps back in. Haskins down, one fall to none in a two out of three fall match. Referee Jerry Calhoun calls for the bell, and we are underway. Gilbert goes right after Haskins. Boy, right now where he left off. Picking up just exactly where he left off, Dave. And I'll tell you. Ooh. The only thing worse than Hart is when Hart is right, and they did get the Southern belt back, and that's yeah. just yeah. They have the belt, no doubt about it. This is a non-title match, but nonetheless, Boy, can you imagine if David Haskins could get a win here and uh, take these hey, last two falls? You better pay attention to what's happening in the ring in there. It's smart Alec won one, and then he... He got it! Hart, confident this man had the victory. Gilbert overconfident, and they lose the fall. Why did he quit down? He got to a sunset flip and that's all there was to it. You got beat because you were playing to the camera. That's all. I couldn't be me. 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 I and it's not the start of the third ball. It started. I started the match, and it started, baby. Oh, look out. Jerry Calhoun Jerry into Lawler's the door over here. He just gave us a quick count, baby. I'm telling you. Come on, Jerry. Break. Oh, boy. I'll tell you what. 
Runs over there and jump past it as he's getting in there. Okay, all right. Third ball underway out there. David Haskins. Boy, Gilbert went up, and I mean to tell you, he slammed him with that knee upside the face right there. He is the Southern Heavyweight Champion. Nobody tries to pull a on us. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, he lost one ball. I don't care what you say about it. It's even one apiece right now. We're in the third ball. Referee Jerry Calhoun trying to stop some of the actions of Gilbert, just slamming him with that fist in there. And David Haskins, he jumped him down at the side of the ring when uh, we were supposed to be in a rest period, or rather getting ready for a rest period in between the second and third falls. One fall apiece, Haskins won the second, while Gilbert was showing off. Referee making him break it up. He wheels Haskins on a whip across the ring. Two power slam. Boy, he drove him right down to the mad count of two, and he picks him up as a two count. Well, you know, he doesn't learn his lesson. I mean, he got pinned for uh, not taking care of business in the second fall, and then Gilbert comes back. He, he uh, probably could have gotten the third count there, but like he, he didn't do idea. it. He picked him up at the count of two. Referee's telling him in there that he's jumping while he's pulling the head down. He's slamming that knee up there. He's grabbing him by the hair and slamming him right into the knee. Gilbert again, same thing. He kind of kangarooed him as he jumps up in the air with that knee, grabs the hair and slams his head right into that knee. Eddie Gilbert pulling that hot shot on him. He drove him down into the ring. David Haskins. Count it out. One, two, three in the third ball. So Gilbert is going to be the winner in there. All right, Eddie. He won the match, Jimmy. Get him out of here. He's won it. Come on, Eddie. Hey, Puck, I apologize for playing the champion. I apologize to these people. I apologize. Come on. Come on, Eddie. Now get out of here. Will you break it up? Haskins slammed into the ring post in there. Gilbert running him around. I thought he's going to hit him into that other ring post. What the Sam Hill is he doing? Throws him over one of the benches out in the crowd. Hart! Forcing the doors open here. Boy, are you believing this? Gilbert takes Haskin out in the snow. Good night, I'm telling you. It's got to be about 15 degrees out there. You are awful. Referee Jerry Calhoun. Out there with him is Gilbert. Took David Haskins right out into the snow. Hart coming back in and, and shutting the door. I, I, that's it. I got to tell you, Dave Ford, that kid freezes out there. I want to go get him. Yeah, go, look at the door open there or something. Hart closes the door behind him. Here. That's what's going to happen from now on. We're going to freeze everybody out. We're going to throw them out in the cold, Russell. We heard a rumor David Hashers likes to make snowmen. That's enough. Yeah, all right. Let's see if we can get... Uh, 